is how we do. We keep it real classy in Harlem, boy. You see somebody in a $100,000 car, you just jump the fuck in it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Welcome to Harlem. Chef Tammy here with you from Harlem Seafood Soul. And I'm back. What we're doing tonight is late night munchies, the Harlem edition. And if you know anything about me, you know I rep Harlem real hard. Harlem is my home. Well, I'm excited to take you to the best spots in Harlem that are open late. So let's go, y'all. If you want the food that embodies this community, it's soul food. And when I tell you I want some good eats, I'm heading over here to see my sister Melba. And like her, I'm born, bred, and buttered in the village of Harlem. This is soul food at its best. And it's open late. What I would like to start with are those jumbo crab cakes. Those crab cakes are calling my name. I'm doing the oxtails, the peas and rice, and I want some potato salad. Can I get a side of collard greens? Just a small side of collard greens. Yep. I'm gonna do the chicken and waffles as well. Dark meat, of course. There's always dark meat for me, boo. <laughs> <laughs> no fluke, this shit fire. And when I tell you there ain't nothing but pure crab meat in here, not a whole lot of breading. Yeah. Yeah, this is amazing. The wonderful thing about Melba's is, is that she's open till midnight. So you can definitely come in here and get a nice late night bite. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Mmm. Savory, sweet, they're tender. This is everything collard greens supposed to be, y'all. Now this is old school rice and peas. I know some of y'all looking at this gonna write a comment and say, oh, she's got two starches. I'm being greedy tonight. Somebody's actually cooking for me. I done told y'all there's a big girl living inside of me and we're really happy together. So I don't need y'all comments telling me about my two starches. I already know. Mmm. The meat is falling off the bone good. You would eat these with a, with a spoon. So with these eggnog, Waffles, and then she gives you a strawberry whipped butter. I mean, come on now. So here's how we do it in my house, right? You break that chicken leg off, just a little bit, just a little hot sauce for the flavor. And you go all in with your waffle. By the hot chicken, very few words to describe what just happened in my mouth just now. All of those flavors just came together and just did what it's supposed to do. Mmm. This is definitely comfort food at its best. I think in this immediate vicinity of 8th Avenue or Frederick Douglass Boulevard, it's probably one of the more gentrified neighborhoods in the Harlem community. It's not a bad thing because Harlem has always been inclusive. I love to see, you know, new faces, new people. Just don't come up here thinking we need you to change anything for us. We're good. We're doing so fine. You want to live here now. You know what it is. You sitting here too. Yeah. This is an amazing food here. Like, yes. Yeah, we've been here a number of times. Today's like this. This is this is the spot. I, I love their shrimp and grits. But, and their wings are amazing, too. Oh, yes, God, the wings are there. There's I'm like not a even signature. Going to, I'm not going to argue with you on that. He's traveling back from Atlanta, and I appreciate him coming. to come here. You got to come here to Melbourne's. You got to come over and do some more cheese. Like, this is it. That's this it. It's a meal. Nah. Thank you. Nah. Now we're going to go uptown a little bit. Ponte Bistro. Don't think that all we have is soul food, y'all. You'll be very, very surprised to find that anything you think of, you're gonna find it right here in this village of Harlem. At any time, they have like a French West African cuisine. They're small plates, but the flavors are amazing. How y'all doing? How you doing? I'm good. What is the whole fish? The whole fish? The whole fish. 
Okay. I think one of the greatest things about Pani Bistro is that it's not just your typical late night food, like, you know, quick appetizers, the norm. Right here in Central Harlem, late night, you can get some elegant, upscale, elevated food choices where it's not just the staples, you know, calamari, onion wings, chicken wings, and they're open till 1 a.m. What about that sauce that you were telling me about? The, the onion sauce, the yasa? Yes. I'd like some of that. Could I get Bronzina a piece of fish with yes. that sauce? Sure. Surprise me. Bring me out the best they got back there. I love you. I love you. <laughs> what you doing your ass up in here? <laughs> My good, good friend. This is Toya, y'all. I'm not sure if you remember in the first Munchie video, she came and she said, I've been stalking her ever since I tried the shrimp and grits. And her stalking paid off because not only is she beautiful on the outside, she's beautiful on the inside. So I love hanging out with her. Oh, spicy. We have the hot sauce. That looks really good. Let me just tell you something. Don't be looking at me like I can't handle spicy. <laughs> Honey, half my family West Indian. We eat scotch bonnets for breakfast. What? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, this is so good. And this fish is cooked right. And it is moist on the inside. It is meaty, full of flavor. Absolutely cooked to perfection. It's a yasa sauce, y'all. It has peppers and it's tomatoes. Mm, mm. It makes you want to go, mm. The best part of the fish is the head. The head is where the meat. I never ate the head of the fish. Mmm, girl. Ever. You've been missing the best part. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> we have the crispy tuna. Very good. There's like a wasabi. Yeah, wasabi does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I taste some the soy. I taste the ginger, but this skin has been fried and it's crispy and it's full of flavor and it's delicious. A double kick. So that's a passion fruit martini and a ginger martini. So bless the hands that prepared it and our bodies as we receive it. Hello, I'll drink to that. You can barely taste the alcohol, but you know it's in there. You gotta be careful with these. You, you can just, throw these like back thinking that it's oh a good God. lemonade. Yeah, so you can get messed up on these. Lamb chops with white rice with the spinach and garlic. Yes, I and love that. wine sauce. The sauce is amazing. Mm -hmm. Good seeing you. I'm glad I came. I know, right? I'm glad. And after a good meal, you need a good blunt. We off to the next spot, and I'm going to show you where they got the best Jamaican food in Harlem, if you ask me. They are open 24 hours, and it's a little small spot, but it has some huge flavors inside. They've been around a long time, and they're a staple in the Harlem community. On 135th Street between 8th Avenue and St. Nick, King Barker is the spot. So my favorite thing I'm gonna tell you right now, every time I come here is I get the stew chicken. The jerk chicken, I think my favorite dish, absolute hands down, is the Rasta pasta. So if you're gonna come here, don't leave without the Rasta pasta. Auntie, what you getting tonight? Cause I'm ordering what you ordering. The goat? Oh, I forgot about the curry goat. Oh my gosh, we gotta get some curry goat. Last Friday, up here around one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. It looked fresh, the rice looked good. Everything looked good, so I ate some. So now I'm mm -hmm. out tonight. 24 hours, 24 hours right here on a West 135th 
between, like I said, Eighth and Saint Nick. Mm. That's what we know it as. Right. Okay, for the new New Yorkers or mm. people coming here, it's Frederick Douglass and Saint Nicholas Park. Mama, can you order another or put another oxtail and collard greens order on mine, please? You have any ting? How many of it is one, two, three? I need four tings. It's like a bottled drink, like a soda. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get you one too. Okay. As I want you to try it, it too. Ain't, it ain't got no alcohol in it, does it? Man, they, they ain't selling no alcohol in there. I wish they did. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have ting when you eat King Baca. In the hood, this paper bag becomes a placemat. It's takeout only. You can see they give you a large portion. You've got, this is jerk chicken. You've got cabbage, some rice and peas under there. Looks really good. And it tastes even better. And I'll tell you, this chicken is moist. The rice is moist. Let me get over here and taste this cabbage. I'm not usually a big fan of cabbage because I work in the public. They season this cabbage. And it's sweet. So it's a nice contrast to the spicy jerk chicken and the seasoned brown rice. And I tell you, this is a heavy plate. It's just so much food. This is your last stop before you take your ass in the house. I'm gonna have some of this for lunch tomorrow. Great way to end the night. After a few cocktails, a great evening. Up here in Harlem, the flavors are amazing. The food is great and the energy is nothing but pure love. So come on up here and check us out. I know you coming, because I got the good ass food, Aunt Pat. Aunt Pat, I got you. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me pull this seat up so you can really see me good. <laughs> I know how to work this shit and I drive my ass off. I used to be the getaway driver. <laughs> <laughs>